Korean history be like? An insular is divided into three kingdoms. Invaders take advantage of the disunity. They fight the weakest Korean kingdom outnumbering them by millions. The local Korean commander floods the valley. He saves Korea but he ruined the king's rice paddy farm. Is quickly executed despite being hailed a hero. The king and most of his family dies in an alleyway murder spree. His 69th effeminate son now rules and gets help from China. An insular unified MP3. He marries 27 princesses to control the conquered kingdoms. His heir commits unspeakable acts on palace maids. To fix this the king stuffs his son into a rice box. His grandson Lord Kimchi the Great ascends the throne. Starts a golden age and invents everything. Kingdom becomes so rich it attracts invaders. A local commander with over 69 confirmed victories leads the defense. He strategically rams into the enemy armada with his three turtle ships. The invaders lose millions of ship soldiers. While one seaman stubs his toe. The emperor gets jealous of his victory and he's exiled dies on Ligma Island. Another empire soon invades. After multiple failed campaigns and burning all wooden structures they give up. Korea is made a vassal and invaders are given Korean princesses. Be rice paddy farmer. Smell weakness from outsiders. Creates righteous army. Drive out outsiders and vassal okay. government. A general, a prince, and a Buddhist monk make new kingdoms. Their name states after previous three kingdoms. Thanks for the money, dummies. Thank you for the suggestions and check out the Discord Patreon for more Mysterio Fortunus content in the links below.